If there's one thing to remember about coronavirus vaccines, it's that they protect well against severe hospitalization and death. I'm Aria Bendix, and I'm a senior science and health reporter at Insider. It's always possible that you will still get infected with COVID-19 if you've been vaccinated. The Delta variant does make that more likely, but the goal of our vaccines was never to prevent an infection, and it wasn't even to prevent a mild case of the sniffles. It was to prevent severe hospitalization and death, which vaccines still do well. And your chance of getting infected and your chance of being symptomatic are still lower if you've been vaccinated. You have a much higher chance if you haven't gotten vaccinated yet. So pharmaceutical companies are working on two types of booster shots right now. The one that's furthest advanced is an extension of the existing vaccines that have been authorized to the public. Pfizer and Moderna are both two shots. It's just essentially a third shot of the same vaccine that's already available. And then pharmaceutical companies are also working on a second type of booster, which is tailored to specific variants, but that research isn't as far along, so it's less likely to reach the public. The FDA just authorized booster shots for certain immunocompromised individuals. So it's mostly people who have received solid organ transplants or are in an advanced stage of an HIV infection. It's not all immunocompromised individuals, but it does constitute about 7 million Americans. So that's a pretty sizable chunk of our population. It's unlikely that there's going to be a standard practice for verifying their immunocompromised status this time around. But again, you shouldn't be seeking a booster shot unless you belong to that group of people who have recently received a solid organ transplant or who have an advanced HIV infection. The FDA hasn't authorized any booster shots for the general public just yet, and no specific age groups. Some people have already sought out additional booster shots if they've gotten the J&J &J shot sort of under the table by not disclosing their vaccination status, but that's not something that's received any regulatory approval. It's still being tested in clinical trials. So it's something that people have consulted with their doctors about, probably isn't likely to be sanctioned by any medical authority right now. So supply is not an issue right now in the U.S. The Biden administration has purchased enough vaccines so that everyone in the U.S. can be fully vaccinated and then also can receive a booster on top of that. So we're not worried about a mad dash to get shots at the pharmacy anymore, even once vaccines are authorized for children. We don't expect there to be sort of the level of demand that we saw when vaccines first became available in the winter. And there should be plenty of supply for every American who wants an additional booster once that becomes an option. We have to remember that vaccines were only authorized about eight months ago in the US. So we are going to be observing some changes as we see how they play out in the population over time. We know as a baseline that they're absolutely safe and effective against preventing severe disease and hospitalization for COVID-19. But we will learn more about how long that protection lasts in the population as we continue to study it. So it's important to stick with the CDC and be patient as the data is constantly evolving. So you should absolutely get vaccinated if you've already had COVID. We don't know how long immunity from a natural infection lasts, and it's important to provide as much long-term protection as possible. So a COVID vaccine essentially acts as a booster on top of the initial infection you've received. And make sure that you're protected for longer against severe disease and hospitalization. So the fewer people that are vaccinated, the more opportunities the virus has to spread and therefore the more opportunities it has to mutate. So fully vaccinating everyone in the US would essentially prevent any opportunities for mutations and the arrival of new variants and essentially bring our entire outbreak in this country to a halt.